Welcome to Axoon Cinei 2 Pro's tutorial video. Today we'll be walking you through the in-package item list, installing and configuring the transmission system, and how to connect your smart devices and use the app. Once you open the delivery box, you'll be greeted with our new retail package. Now as we open the box, you'll immediately find Sena i2 Pro's user manual and its transmitter and receiver units. Let's pull all of these aside now. So you can remove the upper layer. This time you'll find nine antennas and two cold shoe adapters. These are all the items that come in the standard retail package. Now, once you install the antennas to both the transmitter and receiver, secure the batteries. Cine i2 Pro is ready for work. First, please make sure you've installed the antennas to the transmitter and receiver. Definitely make sure that the connection is secure. If it twists very easily or even rotate like crazy when you shake the unit, it means a bad connection. Bad contact between the unit and the antenna will lead to terrible wireless reliability. Then you can secure the transmitter to your camera via adapters, such as something like a magic arm or the included cold shoe adapter. Now, you can connect the HDMI in on the transmitter to your camera's HDMI output. Definitely make sure that you're using the right kind of cable. Please note that the transmitter has two HDMI ports. The HDMI in is for video and audio stream input. The HDMI out is for HDMI loop out. If the unit you'd install on your camera has only one HDMI port, sadly you've incorrectly installed the receiver to your camera. You can easily tell which one is which by looking at these three places. First, check the text under the big Cine i2 Pro. See if it's labeled transmitter or receiver or you can check how many HDMI ports it has on its left side. And the transmitter, as something that's meant to be rigged on your camera with the correct cable, its USB expansion port can control your camera's record and stop. So it's labeled camera as it's the camera control port. On the receiver, it's labeled EXI.I and F as a reserved expansion port. Now let's turn on the transmitter and the camera. Meanwhile, let's pay attention to the side pairing knob on the transmitter. Make sure you match the same position on the receiver as well. Then turn it on. Different from the tradition pairing process, pairing knob's position tells the transmitter and the receiver which group they're in. Then once they're all booted, they'll automatically scan and then connect. Once successfully connected, connect its HDMI out to a monitor, and then enjoy the wireless experience. There are a total of 16 pairing groups to choose from. Enough for complicated multicam setups. To change settings, you can press the buttons on either the receiver or the transmitter. The square mark center button is menu and confirm, and the left and right buttons are for changing selection. Press the center button once. You'll enter the quality mode selection menu. In this page, press left or right to change selection. Then press the center button to confirm and enter the next page. Changing quality modes changes the streaming bitrate. HQ, high quality mode, uses the highest bitrate offering best image quality. 
while SPD, Speed Mode, uses the lowest bitrate, prioritizing smooth playback and stability over image quality. NOM, Normal Mode, is the default selection and a balance between these two extremes. Once the mode is changed on one unit, the other paired units in the same group will automatically sync this change. Press the center button to confirm your quality mode setting, then you'll enter the challenge selection page. Again, use left and right to change selection and center button to confirm. In this page, A means auto channel selection. When this is selected, this transmitter will automatically decide which channel is the cleanest to use when it's booted. If you wish to change the streaming channel to a certain one, simply use left and right to select the channel, then confirm yes and reboot. This setting will be synced as well, as you can see here. In the channel selection page, if selection unchanged, pressing center button again, then you'll enter the reset page. This is where you want to select yes if you wish to reset the network settings. The default selection is no. Again, if selection unchanged, press confirm again. You'll enter network info page. Here you'll find the network mode, Wi-Fi name, and 5 gigahertz channel this unit is using. Press confirm again. You'll enter the about page. Here you can find the firmware version on this unit. On the receiver, you only have quality mode menu and the about page. Finally, you can either wait a few seconds in any menu page or press confirm again in about page to re-enter the home screen or officially speaking, the status page. Here displays all the status info of this unit. At the upper left corner, you can find the video and audio input status. Then next to it on the right, the video and audio transmission codec. At the upper right corner, the battery percentage, and how many devices are connected to this transmitter, or the transmitter this unit is paired to. Here tells you which pairing group and what transmission channel this unit is set to. And at the bottom, here it shows the network mode. To turn off a unit, it's the same as turning it on. Hold the power button for two seconds, and it's off. Now you've learned how to operate these two. Let's go and take a look at smart devices and our Axoon Go app. First, let's take out your iOS or Android devices. Please make sure you've already installed our Axoon Go app. If you haven't installed it, please go to App Store or Google Play Store, search Axoon, then download and install our Axoon Go app. After that, please enter the system settings and connect to Cinei 2 Pro's Wi-Fi network. The Wi-Fi source with group in its name is only meant for receivers. Please don't connect to it. Connect to the one with four-digit serial number instead. And the default password is 123-456-78. Now you can enter the new Axoon Go app. Make sure it's set to Cinei 2 Pro, then press Monitor. Now you're at the monitoring page. Press the video stream to hide the UI. Press again to reveal the UI. On the bottom, you'll find all the monitoring tools in the toolbar, from grayscale all the way to display settings. Here you can turn them on and off. You can also turn on more than just one, like turning on histogram, waveform, focus assist, false color, anamorphic de-squeeze, safe guide, grid guides, and even audio meter all at the same time. 
You can press the plus button next to the tools bar to edit what tools are displayed on this toolbar. At the bottom right corner, there is a record button. You can press it to record the video and audio stream. The recorded video file will be stored under a dedicated Cine-I folder, as demonstrated here. At the upper right corner is the Settings button. Press it to reveal the setting menu. Here you can change the transmitter's Wi-Fi name, password, and transmission channel. Well, please note that if you change it in this menu, you will need to wait for the transmitter to reboot for switching channels, similar to how it works on the transmitter and receiver themselves. But you need to reconnect to the Wi-Fi network after the reboot. At the bottom left corner is the Tools Configure button. Press it to reveal the Tools Configuration menu. In this menu, you can change the settings of every monitoring tools. And in Looks, here's where you can load all of your LUTs and CDLs. The Return button on the upper left corner can bring back to Homepage. Here you can select your device, change decoding modes, upgrade the firmware, and find links to our tutorial video, digital manual, official website, and more. Okay, that's pretty much it. From what's in the standard retail package, to how to install, connect, then pair the transmitter and receiver, setting up the entire transmission system, then to how to connect your smart devices and use the app. You've just learned everything you need to know to correctly set up Cine i2 Pro. Thank you for choosing Axoon. More content coming soon. Hope you have a nice day. Bye.